Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on the Black Ops Cold War beta, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the brand new M16 tactical rifle. This is one of my favorite weapons to use in the game right now because of how OP this is. I don't know how many of you guys have been using this M16, but I can't tell you how many times I've been killed by this thing in a one burst or gotten a kill in a one burst. I think it is way overpowered. It's a lot of fun to to use and I'm going to share with you guys an insane class setup that you can run with this thing. So what you're watching right now is just some gameplay of me demonstrating what this specific class setup is going to play like just so you guys can get an idea for the specific attachments on this weapon and see what it's like before you actually throw those attachments on for yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's jump into the attachments. So if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're using, the optic that we're using on this class is the mill stop reflex. Now there's three that I highly recommend you try out. The mill stop is great because it's a 1.37 times magnification which means it's good for pretty much anything close range and long range however the cobra red dot is something i was having a lot of fun with earlier this morning which is going to give you a 1.75 times magnification now if you're a super aggressive player this is probably not going to be the best optic to run but if you're playing medium to long range definitely go with the cobra red dot now last but not least one that i was using in uh, in dirty bomb this morning is the vision tech two times optic this thing is so easy easy to just destroy people with from very far away again in dirty bomb this is the best optic to use the vision tech two times is insane if you're playing standard multiplayer in a quick match and most of your gunfights aren't going to be that far away this thing might not be worth it if you're camping you're playing super defensive the vision tech two times is a great way to go but again these are the three optics that i recommend using for the all-around optic the mill stop reflex is the best way to go now the muzzle that we're using is the infantry compensator this is going to give you a 25 percent boost to vertical recoil control and a 10 percent drop off to horizontal recoil control which we'll make up for with another attachment later on but again the infantry compensator muzzle the barrel that we're using is the 15.9 inch strike team now this is what's going to really help you to get those one burst kills that you see people getting all the time because you're getting a 14 percent boost to damage you're also getting a 20 percent boost to fire rate which obviously is going to allow you to shoot quicker and you're getting a 14 percent boost of vehicle damage which really doesn't make that big of a difference but the 15.9 inch strike team barrel the body that we're using is the SWAT 5MW laser sight. I think this is the best laser sight that you can run, obviously giving you 40% boost to hip fire accuracy. So again, the SWAT 5MW laser. The underbarrel that we're using is the field agent foregrip. Now I use this with most of my ARs because we're getting a 10% boost of vertical recoil control. But like I said earlier in the video, we were gonna make up for that horizontal recoil control loss. With this attachment, we're getting a 50% boost. So not only are we making up for that loss, but we're actually gaining a ton. So the field agent foregrip is a great attachment here. The magazine that we're using is the 45 round speed mag. Obviously with magazine size, reload speed, starting ammo and ammo capacity all getting massive boost so we're running the 45 round speed mag the handle that we're using is the quick draw handle i'm just using this for the 10 percent aiming speed uh, it's just going to help your speed out a little bit make you a little bit quicker try to get those first shots off so the quick draw handle is what we're using here and last but not least the stock that we're using is the standard tactical stock this is going to give you a 65 percent boost to aiming move speed which is nice for those close quarters gunfight situations with this m16 obviously if you don't have this massive boost you're going to be really slow while adsing so the tactical stock is a great way to go but i'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific m16 build if you guys have any questions about this specific m16 class please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video